Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. I'm either Rhino, and we're looking at a beer that was sent to me by Chris, uh, Chris E. from Alberta. So, thank you very much, first and foremost, for this. This is a brewery that I've heard of for a long time. I've never actually gotten to try anything by them. And this is from the Grizzly Paw Brewing Company. This is their, in, in Canmore, Alberta, this is their Beaver Tail Raspberry Ale. So there you go, it's 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, raspberry ales, well, fruit beers in general are hit or miss, they're hard to do, they're tricky. But raspberry beers are probably one of my favorite of the fruit beers, so I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, on the back they tell you their SRM levels or color levels, they actually, they actually have a sliding scale on here to show you from uh, light to dark. They talk about the uh, serving temperature. It's going from zero degrees Celsius to four degrees Celsius. This is shown in the four degrees Celsius. Uh, it's probably sitting at about six or seven degrees right now. So a little above that. Over here we have their phone number. We have uh, grizzlypaw.com is the website. We have the location of the brewery. We have the location of their pub. We have an original gravity of 11.4, a final gravity of 1.9. Uh, why Beaver Tail? First brewed in May of 1996, Beaver Tail was a single batch summer offering that has grown into a staple, a light bodied, unfiltered Belgian style fruit ale with a subtle hint of sweetness, balanced by the tart flavor and aroma of fresh raspberries. Enjoy. Uh, the only thing this is actually missing, the only thing period this is missing, is a uh, bottled on date and a uh, best before date. They have everything else on here. Um, well, and if you're if you're Quebec or Quebec or the U.S. Uh, type of glass, because that's on a lot of the Quebec and U.S. models, it's actually starting to show up in Canada too. But yeah, they have the, the they have the SRM, they have the uh, final and original gravity, they have the temperature serving that they think you should use it at. Uh, yeah, so that's really all they're missing. It's actually kind of interesting to see those things missing on. Oh shit! Uh, that wasn't the beer's fault. I have been uh, rolling around a lot before I started the review. Why? Because there was a lot of sediment on the bottom. So I was rolling it around to move that sediment. And obviously I just rolled it a little more vigorously than I thought I had. So, everything's okay though. It wasn't much, it was more of just a hiss than anything. More just a hiss. But see how, like, see how opaque and creamy this beer is? It wasn't such when I uh, picked up the bottle. It, it did say Belgian style pale ale, ah, uh, Belgian style fruit beer though, so. There you go, there was no, uh, the top of the bottle was completely see-through when I first picked it up. There was a lot of sludge on the bottom, now there's a lot of sludge in my glass. But not, a uh, not the color I'd expect from a raspberry ale, made for, from real raspberries, and all that. But, uh, and not the color, at least, I would have expected the slightly pinkish hue in the head. But, you know, this, uh... This disgusting sludge color that is, uh, yeah, that is thick. That's like, uh, kind of like apple cider, like fresh pressed apple cider. With a bright, bright white head. It smells like raspberries, though. You're getting, you're getting a little bit of that. Raspberry jam or uh, raspberry extract type of smell. Not saying there's raspberry extract in it. I fucking hate that I have to reiterate myself all the time. I'm saying that's what I'm smelling. Kind of that raspberry extract as well as fresh raspberries. The fresh raspberries, I'm getting both the sweet and I'm getting the smooshed in the bottom of the, of the pint container type of raspberries. 
Almost a little bit of blackberry in there, too. Very, very fruit forward. Let's try it. Cheers. Actually, that's not bad. Carbonation, a little bit harsh. But, other than that, it's actually a quite refreshing little beer. A little sweet, a little tart. You're getting sweet raspberries, you're getting tart raspberries, you're getting old raspberries, fresh raspberries. And by that I mean you're getting the sweet, you know. You, how many of you have bought a pint of raspberries? You sit there and you start eating them and the ones on the top are nice and, nice and firm and nice and sweet and everything else and then you get to the bottom and you got those ones that are squashed from having a pint of raspberries on top of them and those ones not quite as sweet. That's what you're getting. You're getting the myriad of it. You're even getting the taste, the slight bitterness of the uh, of the raspberry seeds. <coughs> However, the raspberry extract thought is still there because I'm still having raspberries on my palate right now and I've never had fresh raspberries even last that long. But very refreshing. Other than the, other than the very harsh carbonation, which isn't that harsh, but for a raspberry beer, it's very harsh. Other than the very harsh carbonation, it makes me think that I'm drinking uh, a Puron soda water or an extra carbonated Pellegrino or something. This is actually quite refreshing. Five percent alcohol. I'd guess it more around three if I wasn't told. Kind of reminds me of uh, KLB's Raspberry Wheat. Uh, one, due to the look, this looks a lot thicker than KLB's Raspberry Wheat though. But the look reminds me of it, the taste kind of reminds me of it, the scent kind of reminds me of it. This has a much scarier yet cooler visual appeal. And this also has a taste that it is not really as full and a much lighter mouthfeel, but uh, the tastes are somewhat similar. Very refreshing, very easy drinking. <coughs> Nothing to complain about other than the carbonation, man. Uh, the carbonation makes it very gassy. Well, Chris, this was a great beer to start with from this company. Again, this is the first time I've ever had anything from the Grizzly Paw Brewing Company, and I'm actually uh, quite enjoying this. Uh, again, raspberry beer is probably my favorite of the fruit beers that I've had, but I mean, what else is it? There's blueberry. Blueberry usually are horrible. Uh, apricot, there's not that many good apricot ones that I've had. Uh, strawberry, I'm, I don't like strawberries all that much anyway. Uh, mango Magnifico is the only real mango one I've had. Uh, so, I mean, your, your choices in fruit beer are fairly limited. But uh, raspberries usually work out really well, and this one does. Um, as a fruit beer, I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. As a beer on its own, I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. I would buy this again. So 7.5 overall, there's nothing wrong with this other than the carbonation. It does kind of hurt your throat, so this isn't a chugging beer. If you're sitting back with some buddies and you have a 650 of this out, or you have a few... Uh, See, it sounds so sexist when you say it, but if you have a few lady friends over that aren't... Uh, I guess if you have lady friends over that aren't into beer, this is a good beginning step for them. Get them to drink this, then they are a little more open to drink other things. I'm not saying that they're only going to like this, because I know I know a lot of women that love stouts and everything else. But, uh... There is that stigma, and a lot of women will continue that stigma by saying they don't like beer, even though they do, or saying they don't want to try beer even though they are open to trying it. So this is, could be a good uh, gate opener, if you will, a good uh, gateway beer to get them going, give them a half bottle of this. Might be a little more open to trying other beers, might find something they really like. But they could be like my wife and they just want a fruity beer. This is the fruity beer. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10 overall for me. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much, everybody. Goodbye.
extermination. Dumb idea. first thing you think when you pour the beer, and the first thing I thought when I poured the beer was this, the first thing you think when you pour the beer is, god damn that carbonation is harsh. Don't try and chug the beer, just don't do it. It's stupid to do. I'm stupid. Bye guys.